Good day. I've been looking for uh, UPS to work with my system. From the time I put on the inverter. Uh, the inverter is working so far, but I haven't used it for a while. The reason is when the toaster went off or when yeah when it went off it sent a surge although i do have lightning protection on the system but it's for external and not for internal so that surge burn two of my cameras and the other thing is the transfer switch i have has a delay it's one of those i ordered a new one this is the new one a spare it has a delay and if i'm on the computer everything goes off and then it comes back in especially the wi-fi and my cameras it takes time to set so I've been looking for a UPS and the UPS I've been getting was too big or is too big for the place I prepared for the cameras. But I kept on searching and I came across some portable UPSs which works on, on 18650 batteries i took a few of them i took a few of them <clears throat> and i have two on the way which i haven't received yet so today i would be going through the first small mini ups which is this one a very small and handy i hope it can do what they say it can i took so many because i really doesn't trust the system but i'm prepared to run a test with this one the first one i will be giving this one away so i'll be running a test on this one to show you all the functions and how it works when it's in the case, it has two clumps here or clips, one here, one here, which you have to undo and that slides out. This is what it looks like. It has two 5.5 by 2 um, millimeter jacks. I think that's how they call that which is one of these and it uses free lithium ion batteries which is not included now this doesn't come with instructions and what is inside here it's all in chinese it has the two jacks, one output, one input, and the power switch. Let me place the batteries. Now the state, it's also, it's also charges. 
it has it has charge in protection short circuit protection and so forth this is the underside when you get it if it's not coming on you press this button here let's put in the batteries the side the spring is that's the minus the top is plus down here is minus here is positive the middle one would go the other way round and this one would go this way now th this is the function the switch is right here you move the switch and it's on now input output this is the output you plug your I hope you can see that the output is 12.38 12.38 this is the router you put in your router I think you could see the light there. this is the router's power supply you would use the router's power supply and plug it here i wish i had another flat surface that i wouldn't have to hold no, you can't see that. Yes, you can see that. Now I'll disconnect the power. It's disconnected. It didn't blink. It's connected back. Since the battery is fully charged, the light is blue. The light on the router is blue. This is it for this video. And it's simple as that. You would use the same power supply that the router is plugged into. Plug it into this. And from this to your router. Your 
any 12 volt supply you have they said it's over voltage and low voltage protection short circuit protection this is it for this video if you find it was informative please like comment until i test the next one which would be this one uh, goodbye and see you